Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log video diary and this week I've been working on the attack editor and also on the new harbour town. So we'll start off in the attack editor which I'm actually hoping to finish off this weekend. I've opened up this new attack here and now I can start choosing all of the settings for this attack. So I can choose an icon for the attack, I can set the name of the attack here and down here I can click this button to choose an animation for the attack. You'll also be able to edit the animation, but I haven't implemented that quite yet. So we can preview the animation now and it looks fine, but it would probably be more useful if we could preview the attack with the weapon that it's intended for, so I've added an option that allows the player to equip any of the weapons or armour that are currently in the game. So we can preview the attack again with the sword, and that looks a lot nicer. You can also add a charging animation if the attack needs to be charged, but I won't do that for this attack. I can then click settings and fill in a bit more of the information about the attack such as the range and the power, and then there are some more specific settings for the specific attack type. I haven't added any for close combat attacks like this one yet, but if I open up a projectile attack, you can see that there are a few more settings here. So this is just a simple mage attack with this animation, but it doesn't fire any projectiles yet. So I need to add some projectiles by using the projectile specific settings. Firstly, I can choose the speed of the projectile, and then down here I can choose when the projectiles are released. So using the time slider I can find the time that I want the projectile to be fired at, which is about now, and then I can put that time in here. I also need to put where I want that projectile to be fired from, like this. And now I can add that release time by pressing this button. I could also add other release times if I wanted to fire multiple projectiles, and there's a list of all the release times here. Down here are the settings for the projectile itself, so I could add a model for the projectile like an arrow or something, but I'm not going to do that for this attack. I also need to choose how much it's affected by gravity, and also the size of its hitbox, and then I can add some particle effects to it. So I'm just going to create a particle effect for the projectile's trail, and now I'll create a particle effect for when it hits something and explodes. And now that I've done that, we can preview the attack by pressing fire. I also got the time slider to work with the projectiles and the particle effects this week, so we can watch the attack in super slow motion which looks pretty cool, and I can also stop at any time if I want and have a look around like this. Back in the game I created a new harbour town which I can give you a quick tour of now. So we've got this nice coastal path which takes us into this main harbour area where we've got the new jetty models here and a couple of boats. And we've also got the Harbour Tavern, which at some point in the far off future you'll be able to go in and rent a room so that you can kind of live at the harbour if that's the kind of thing that you'd want to do. Then over here on the right we've got a nice little garden area with a bench, and this then leads us into the kind of town centre where we've got a few market stalls set up. Then down this path here there's one more jetty, and another couple of these boat models which were sent in this week. I know quite a few of you actually sent in boat models, uh, but these were the only ones that I had time to put in this week, but I will be putting in the other ones next week or so. And then there's just this pathway which goes up to the very top of that hill there, but there's nothing really up there, so I won't bother showing you that this week. But yeah, that is the new harbour town. For this week though, that is pretty much it. Next week I'm going to be finishing off the attack editor and then getting back into the in-game combat system to add some of the more advanced features that I've got planned. There's going to be a behind the scenes devlog video tomorrow showing off all the stuff that I've been getting up to over the last two weeks and all of the Kickstarter preparations that I've been doing and you can see more updates and pictures and videos during the week on any of my social media pages, all of the links are in the description below. A big thanks of course to everyone whose models or textures were shown in this video, I really appreciate all of your help, uh, but yeah thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a brilliant week and I will see you all next time.